What up, YouTube? So, got myself a situation here. Uh, got a 2021 uh, Jeep Renegade, 80th anniversary, 19 inch rims, all that good stuff. And I uh, was looking at stuff for uh, fixing the Renegade up, doing different things, right? And uh, I got a couple projects going, put a brush guard on, I'll show you guys about that. And uh, set up my back bumper, and I'll show you guys about that too. But the biggest thing that stuck out to me is that everybody has a thing about muffler leaks, which I mean, I'm all for my car, sound a little bit louder, a little bit better, right? And uh, I keep seeing these guys uh they not doing a muffler delete they taking a whole section of pipe out of their car it looked like their exhaust is coming just right below their behind their their driver's seat or right at their driver's seats where i'm thinking they're putting their down pipe at and i'm like it's, there's a couple things we got we got to think about here okay and i'm not trying to sit here and get all scientific and politically correct with you guys but uh but here we go so uh I remember one time uh, I had uh, set something up so that I could do Ram Air into my Toyota Camry uh, when I was a young punk. And uh, somebody told me I wasn't doing myself any good ramming all that air in there. And I said, well, why is that? And this is because your car is not uh, getting a chip put in it or something to advance the fuel to go to the air ratio. And so your car is just sucking in air which you haven't really accomplished anything you got the cool little wishy noise that's about it and so uh what you call it so i say same thing with your exhaust if you just dumping it out now i had a camaro at one time uh was broke off uh i think pre-catalytic converter and I felt like I gained some horsepower and such like that from that. And I really did. Uh, this is how I bought it. Because um, I noticed once I got the exhaust put back on right, I didn't have the same boom, you know. Uh, and it was it was nice. It was, you know, it was good and loud and everything a 16-year-old kid could want. Uh, but uh, anyways, since you're not cutting it pre-catalytic converter and... I could be wrong but i'm sure there's at least two uh catalytic converters but um so because you'd have usually you have a catalytic converter somewhere right after the uh the little head right after the little header uh and then um you have a catalytic converter in line coming down from there but sometimes uh they put a second and I'm not exactly sure. I guess this is another catalytic converter. Not exactly sure. Anyways, all these things have sensors to them. And you can see for a fact that when people uh, remove their uh, their muffler and whatnot, that they can uh, they can do so without putting tripping any codes or causing any sorts of issues like that. But uh, the debacle here is, is that if you're just dumping your ass, right, then your engine is not accounting for that right so for example uh if you're not putting more air in then why are you shitting so much right and i'm sorry i put it like that i look at my uh, jeep like a human body right it eats it breathes it farts it shits i'm sorry so uh if if you're just dumping all day but you're not taking in you're gonna get lean right and i don't know if it would lean out your air to fuel ratio but uh for sure, uh, I would imagine that it dumping out so soon would mix with your lean rich on your air to fuel ratio. So not exactly sure on that one, but uh, but what stands out to me is that apparently, because I don't see a video for this, right? Apparently you guys don't know how to do a muffler to leak without deleting your muffler and it's important because that length of pipe is there for a reason now you can do modifications and you can add different exhaust systems but just whacking your exhaust off and saying <laughs> i pulled four foot of pipe off my car and i just put a down pipe after that and whoop de doo she sounds amazing that's that's not that's not right now i'm not going to tell you that uh it's going to be exactly as loud as as others 
but I am going to tell you that your car will thank you for it a lot more. Uh, and you'll still get some good rumbles. So we're going to do a before and after of how it sounds uh, on the crank up. And then, uh, then I'll walk you guys through some of my other projects. So without ado, let's get at it. So I say to you, why do you want to do a muffler leak? The answer is, of course, you want to sound a little more aggressive, want a little more rumble in your bumble, that sort of thing, right? And I say to you, if you're busy watching this video, especially if you're a Jeep Renegade owner, I say this. Now, you have no business in trying to do anything with the exhaust until you've done something with what she's going to eat. You feel me? Uh, you're just leaning her out, right? You, you just dump in ass, essentially. So... What you want to do is you want to be able to feed her. Now, you'll see I messed up one of these little holes right here, right? But it don't matter for what I get out of it. And that's this right here. Let's go right over here. Take you guys around this. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, right. Let's see if I can get you guys where you can see. Right here. This thing right here. Let me get my hand out of the way. This thing right here. That goes into your air box, okay? If we follow this down, we'll see that it comes out right before it. I ain't gonna be able to get a good angle on it. Right before there, let's see. Do, 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 do. And I can't show you there either, huh? Hold on, one second. Okay, so if you look right there, you should be able to see, see if I can go over here and run my hand by it. Right here, right tucked back in there is where the other end of that thing is. I don't know if you can see this thing rattling, but when I go like this, I'm rattling that. That scoop is right here. That. ends up being right there right back in the day they used to and i'm not saying that it is but back in the day they used to call that ram air i say number one uh you have no business messing with your exhaust and so you do that so you're feeding more air in but then number two until and i'm sp specifically talking to jeep renegade owners here on this part <laughs> You take your air filter off, right? And underneath here, you'll find, now I don't have it in here anymore. I done took it off. But you will find a mesh underneath that, okay? And you won't be able to do with your air filter what I've done here. So I took that mesh off, the way I can get more air through, okay? I took a mesh off, I blew it out with air hose. I know I should have a new air filter, but my situations being what they are, that's where things ended up at. But there's nothing wrong with it. You want to make sure that just as you saw those fans are all flapping out, right? You want to make sure that's facing down, right? So you have more filter for the surface area, volume of air that's coming in, right? You want to make sure the flat side's up, okay? And once you've done those two things so that you're actually feeding her, then now I say we can get to the exhaust. So, cold start. Take two, cold start. not all that exciting right so to all my muffler delete people the thing i don't understand is at least on the jeep renegade why it is 
So you guys are taking it off. So we just had to crawl down here and look. You guys are taking it off right there from that bracket. And you guys have all of this. Right? But you guys are just going ahead and chopping away. So. This is all went ahead and measured. And it looked like uh, all you folks that's on bolts in it right from there. Number one, it's directly underneath the passenger floorboard. So to start with, I'd like to say, have you ever heard of carbon monoxide, right? Silent killer, you don't smell it, it's odorless. And we all know that when carbon monoxide, or when the exhaust is cut, it's got a higher chance of carbon monoxide getting inside the car. Number one, uh, so you don't want to cut your exhaust anywhere near, especially underneath, directly underneath the passenger, feel me? You want to make sure that your exhaust, if you're going to cut it, is closer to the back which I would have thought that I was going to see a bunch of people unbolt their muffler, but that didn't happen. And so, <clears throat> but in reality, truth be told, there's something even better you can do. So you don't have to drop your bolt, your, your, your muffler, your bumper, your anything. You ain't got to unbolt nothing. You just got to have yourself a, uh, do, do, do. a pilot drill bit. And then the drill bit you're going to go with at the end. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure our muffler. We're going to make some marks. And then um, we're going to go from there. All right, folks. So here I am talking to you about don't throw away 56 inches of your exhaust pipe. And there's a reason why. So everybody else is saying, go ahead and uh, yank that all the way from that clip way up there. You can see it. All of this pipe. That's your muffler. Okay. And I say no, because if you do that, then you got carbon monoxide leaking into your cabin, right? But also, uh what you call it? You you're you're messing with this whole system right here. And if all you're trying to get is a little more room in your boom, uh you can do this right here. Now you'll see I already measured my um sorry y'all if i'm a sharpie i already measured this and already marked all where i want my holes at okay so we have uh one two three four five six and seven and if you look at how my muffler is shaped okay i'm doing it at the bottom but also to where it constantly spits out the back of the car. You don't want to do it up here and you don't want to do it up there because you don't want the carbon monoxide slash exhaust getting caught up in your car. Do you see what I'm saying here, y'all? You want it downward facing and you want to make sure it comes to the ground. Do you see? I'm using the lowest point and instead of facing it straight down, which would cause the carbon monoxide and exhaust to build up here while the car is warming up or whatever, facing it back do you see so it blows out the back of the car just like your normal factory exhaust pipe does see how they're facing the same way all right so first i'm going to start off with uh, drill me some pilot holes all right but i want to point this out i am only going in just the tip i know there's a lot of people laughing right now just the tip all right, and then uh, we're gonna do the same thing with our big bit right afterwards, but I'm gonna drill the pilot holes, show y'all what that looks like. Now we got all seven holes drilled. Three, six, seven, all right? Um, let's see what it sounds like when I crank it up.
So, I say uh, you be the judge, but uh, I feel like I acquired the same results. Uh, I didn't mess up my vehicle. Uh, exhaust is going where it's supposed to go. Ain't got no health risks, no nothing like that. Still achieved the same thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm straight with it. Laters. Make sure you like and subscribe.